Hi, I have 12 quick questions for Bible believers. I'm going to let you look up the answers, but I'm going to put the answers with the scriptures in uh, the description box below. So see how well you do on these questions. Number one, when did the body of Christ start? Number two, what is the mystery mentioned in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 3, 4, and 9? Number three, what is the one baptism mentioned in Ephesians 4, 5? Number four, how many baptisms are in the Bible? Number five, how many churches are mentioned in the Bible? Number six, how many gospels are mentioned in the Bible? Number seven, what did Paul mean when he said, my gospel? What was he referring to? Number eight, according to Jesus and Peter, was baptism necessary for salvation and the forgiveness of sins? Number nine, did Jesus teach tithing? You'll love that one. Number 10, did Jesus teach and keep the law? Number 11, did the gospel of the kingdom include the cross? Jesus and Peter teach the gospel of the kingdom. It says it plainly. They went around preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Did that include the cross work, the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Number 12, did John the Baptist teach the death, burial, and resurrection? There they are, 12 simple questions. There's some definite answers. It's not open for interpretation. There's just answers that are in the scriptures that tell us exactly. Now, on some of these, the number, like how many baptisms, you, you, there's definitely not just one. There's gonna be more than one. Some of these you may uh, come up with different numbers, like baptism. Is there seven or 10 or 12 or, or 200, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but you, you get the idea that there is more than one baptism because people relate that word baptism with water. And so thinking that water is the only uh, definition of that baptism. So, so the purpose of this questionnaire is to see if you can properly and correctly, well, the way the Lord puts the words in 2 Timothy 2.15, rightly divide the word of truth. Let's see if you can correctly, rightly divide God's word. Because the answers to these questions are ones that you need to rightly divide God's word in order to understand what the Bible is saying, what the answers are. Another reason for these questions is I would like you to actually see the answers in your Bible. Now some of them which will have multiple verses, but many times people will just listen to their pastor or the doctrine in their church or something like that and not go to God's word to see what the answers to these questions would be. And so that's what I would like to encourage you to do. Look at your Bible, look at the verses, see what it says. And of course, it's preferred that you use a King James Bible. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.